Hello everyone, I am starting off by showing you what materials I'll be using for this DIY. I found these random wooden blocks at my local Habitat Humanity Restore for a dollar a piece and I thought they'd be perfect for this. I also found these faux wooden eggs at Pier 1 during their Easter sale. Um, these didn't turn out quite the way I wanted to, but I'm still going to show you why in the process. And I'm also using these little mini wooden hammers. I don't know the proper term for these. They like, you can break crabs with them or I don't know. I also have this wooden um, piece from joanne fabrics i believe um i think i was supposed to make a ornament but never did so i wanted to create a faux concrete cement type of finish on some of the wood so i'm using black and white paint as well as some baking soda for some nice texture i'm also using this natural material you can use any material you like i would prefer cane webbing but i could never find any and definitely going to need this type of drill bit to create a hole for your candlestick. I would go down a size from what I have here, which is a 13th, 16th. And of course, you're going to need some candlesticks. To create my concrete mixture, I am adding white paint in a cup as well as some black paint. Just a little bit so I can create a nice deep gray color. I'm gonna give a good mix to this before I add in my baking soda. I'm adding in just enough baking soda to create a thick consistency. I'm just laying out a paper bag to protect my surface. Starting off with this round wood piece, I am first going to cut off the string. Apply my mixture right on top. So I'm just lathering that mixture all over this piece, including the sides. And definitely going to try to fill in that little hole there so I can have a seamless flat finish. This is going to take a bit to dry, but once it's dry, I go back in and do a second coat. Now while I let this first coat dry, I'm going to go ahead and start on another one. I'm going to tape off a portion of this wooden block. That way one half can be a nice concrete finish and the other will be the natural wooden finish. So I'm repeating the same steps, just coating this whole bottom portion in the mixture. I'm going to let it dry and then come back and do a second coat. For my third candlestick holder, I'm taking another one of those wooden blocks and I'm simply going to just cover it with this natural material using a little bit of hot glue. This one is going to look a little bit more on the boho side, which is fine for me. I love a mixture of modern boho in my home, so. Here 
If you are a returning subscriber, you may have seen me use this material several times in my previous DIYs. This material is actually a table runner from Target. I specifically purchased this product just to use on certain DIYs because I just love the material. It's very natural, boho. It's also very affordable and it lasts a long time. Since I cut it up and use it on smaller projects, I have so much left over when I'm finished. So I would recommend purchasing this table runner if you are a crafter like myself and you can't really get your hands on cane webbing or you just don't feel like purchasing that because it is a little expensive. I'll leave the link to this in the description box below. Now that I have it covered, it's time to trim off the excess. So I'm taking a pair of fabric scissors and I'm just going to cut around the perimeter of the top as well as trimming off the bottom and just cleaning it up a bit. So far, I really like how these are turning out. Um, we still have to do the important step, which is drilling a hole in the center of all of these. The few pieces that I painted that still need to dry. Um, but as you can see, I kind of took that brush and I just stippled that mixture to create like some rough textured on the surfaces. And to take my concrete effect a step further, I'm adding the slightest amount of white paint to this hard bristle brush. And I'm just very lightly brushing up against that gray matte finish to add some dimension and highlight to the surface. And as you can see, it's pretty big difference with just adding that little bit of white paint to create a more realistic look. As for these, I'm just going to remove the handle and keep the finish as is. Here I am just eyeballing where I believe the center is and I'm just going to drill about an inch and a half or inch and a quarter down and I do apologize for the camera shaking. I think I did a pretty good job finding the center of this block. For the other ones, I'm not so sure. Um, you want to make sure that you really hold down your piece as you're drilling or else it will go everywhere. So I realized that these eggs were not solid at all. They were very hollow and that is why it cracked. Um, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I still went with it. And as for these little mini wood cylinders, 
I had so much trouble finding the center without measuring, which is why I prefer you to measure before you drill, but it definitely burnt my <laughs> drill bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to leave the link to how I created the squiggly candles down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe.